ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ डीमोनेटाइजेशन वेल काफ़ी लोग ये कह रहे हैं अलग अलग लोग कि डीमोनेटाइजेशन के बाद सी के पास जो इन्फॉर्मेशन आई है डिपॉजिट के बारे में उसका उसके बाद लोग ये संदेह कर रहे एक फियर कर रहे कि इंस्पेक्टर उनके पीछे पड़ जाएंगे लोगों को हैरेस करेंगे नोटिस जाएगी ये सब संभावना लोग प्रदर्शित कर रहे हैं लेकिन आपको ये जान के खुशी होगी कि जो प्रोग्रामिंग सॉफ्टवेयर सी ने इतने कम समय में बनाया है इनाउस वो इतना बढ़िया है कि किसी के पास हमको जाने की ज़रूरत नहीं पड़ेगी अब आप जानते हैं कि 99 परसेंट पीपल आर फाइलिंग दे रिटर्न ऑनलाइन सबका अपना अपना एक एक ई फाइलिंग का अकाउंट होता है तो उस ई फाइलिंग अकाउंट के माध्यम से ये डिपॉजिट हम उनको बताने जा रहे हैं उसका हम क्वेश्चंस पूछने जा रहे हैं ऑनलाइन सो दैट देर इज़ नो फिजिकल कॉन्टैक्ट ऑफ एनी इनकम टैक्स इंस्पेक्टर विद द पीपल दिस इज़ दर्पज ऑफ एक्सप्लेनिंग टूडेज सॉफ्टवेयर the name that cbdt has preferred to give it to this program is operation clean money and in hindi it is called swachh dhan abhiyan swachh dhan abhiyan it is just the name of the programming software which will be used to get answers on all the deposits which are made and after getting all the preliminary answers from people then only if the need be we would be taking a legal action against those people this is the purpose of this i would like to compliment the team of cbdt which has worked very hard to make this programming software a very good one and that also in such a short time particularly the people from uh, directorate of system sanjeev singh and director systems and other people who have made it possible to have this they have really worked very hard my compliments to the team now I'll request sushil chandra to kindly uh, explain the scheme and then if need be through a presentation we have a meeting at 3 o'clock with fm so you just take 10 minutes friends as the revenue secretary has already told you that this is a scheme so which we will be we will be verifying we will be verifying the deposits which have been made during the period from 9th november to 31st of december we have got a large data we got something around more than 1 crore accounts where the money has been deposited above rupees 2 lakh they are having a unique pan of around 70 lakh persons which are involved into this particular accounts we have compared this vast data with the income profile the turnover and the various other particulars of income available in our income tax data bank in the first phase <coughs> where the deposits in the account are not matching with our data we are putting the same on our e filing portal seeking explanations about source of income in the initial phase we are putting data of those persons who have deposited rupees 5 lakh or more and deposits between rupees 3 lakh to 5 lakh of suspicious nature and who had poor tax compliance after 8th of november 2016 the money has lost its anonymity as you are quite aware after demonetization and it has come in the banking channels so it is easy for us to track the same therefore <coughs> through this particular scheme we want to convey that it is necessary for the taxpayers to come clean and pay their due taxes on the deposits on which taxes have not been paid for this even the pmg ky is available till 31st of march only this action initially covers only 18 lakh taxpayers whose data we have put on our portal of e filing no source of source of deposit is being asked from the small taxpayers who have got genuine tax compliant savings it is also desired that the taxpayers that their bank account should be complied and linked with the pan otherwise in the accounts which we have got a balance of rupees 5 lakh and in 2 lakh rupees was deposited during that specified period the withdrawal will not be allowed by the rbi guidelines so therefore it is a mess necessary that they should be duly linked with the pan also the time given for the response through this e verification system is available for 10 days and 
if there's any uh, difficulty or any question, they can be available on the online. If the reply is not given within the stipulated time, only then the notice will be issued by the department. <coughs> Otherwise, we want that everybody should give reply on the computer itself. There's no need to come to the office. And if their explanation is accepted, then the amount, that, that, that particular thing will be closed. <coughs> and they need not to visit income tax office at all. So the intention of this scheme is to avoid any harassment to the taxpayer. They need not to come to the office. And online verification will be completed. If any taxpayer feel any difficulty or harassment, the same can be intimated to the local chief commissioner or the CVDT, and our team will be ready to help any genuine grievance in this regard. I also want to communicate <coughs> that this is a continuous exercise. That is a Swachh Dhanavyan and Operation Clean Money is a continuous exercise to widen and deepen the tax base. All the, amount, all the accounts in which money has been deposited will be tracked <coughs> and we have hired the services of the data analytics as well and ultimate beneficiary in, in the even the channeled accounts in the layered accounts also we will definitely identify and this exercise will definitely widen the, and deepen the tax base now i would request to sanjeev singh <coughs> my colleague who will give a little presentation on this issue as to how this scheme will work thank you sir uh, good afternoon everyone uh, uh, the the veri verification of uh, cash deposit, uh, we have used data analytics, uh, as Saras mentioned, to identify around 18 lakh taxpayers, uh, wherein the cash transactions do not match with the profile of the taxpayer. So that is the basic point, which means not every uh, account has been uh, identified for showing. Only accounts where the transactions are not in line with the taxpayer profile have been identified to be pushed for the e-filing portal. Uh, the online verification, the primary objective is uh, lower compliance cost for the taxpayer and optimize the resources of the income tax department in conducting this verification. Uh, there is basically a three-step process. Uh, a taxpayer needs to log into the e-filing portal. It is inside the e-filing window of the taxpayer. And once a person clicks on the uh, cash transactions 2016 link, the accounts and the amount of deposit will be viewed by the taxpayer itself. Uh, the details, this is just a sample screen, uh, where the, uh, the name of the bank and the bank account and the balance or the deposit uh, made in the bank account is being shown. Uh, the taxpayer is also required to uh, give information about any other bank account which is not mentioned in this list. So that is also an, uh, a link has been provided for that. Uh, to inform the taxpayers who may not be coming to the e-portal, uh, tomorrow morning we'll be sending an email and SMS on the mobile number and email which is on the e-filing portal. Uh, taxpayers uh, who have not registered uh, on e-filing portal till now uh, would be few. Uh, we request them to register on e-filing portal. It takes less than two minutes to register on e-filing portal. Uh, even taxpayers who are registered on e-filing portal should verify their email and mobile number and make sure that it is updated. This will make sure that any communication we send to them reaches them and they can come on the portal. Uh, once uh, the account is viewed, uh, the, the taxpayer can confirm that the account belongs to them because uh, uh, if, if that is the case, they will be asked to give the explanation of cash deposit. In case account uh, does not belong to the taxpayer or the fund holder, they have a facility to give their response. And in such a case, we will uh, uh, pass on the information to the information source for re-verification. Uh, once the account is confirmed by the taxpayer, uh, the, the facility also allows the taxpayer to modify that uh, deposit amount. Because it could be in some cases, the, the value being shown is not exactly the same which taxpayer knows which has been deposited. So the taxpayer has the ability to modify that amount and then give the broad way that cash has been deposited, the source of that cash. So uh, very simple, uh, if you see, we have talked about how much cash is from earlier income or savings, or if cash is from any income or receipt which is exempt from tax, for example, agriculture income, that can be also mentioned. Along with that, there is a facility to also give uh, remarks to explain uh, the amount which is being stated there. Now, in case uh, a taxpayer 
uh, has got this money from other person or has withdrawn that amount from other bank accounts, facility has been given on the online portal to uh, even capture these details. Uh, in case the list of such persons is large, a facility has been given for it to be captured in a CSV file or Excel file and upload on the portal. So uh, a, a person can actually prepare the list and go back to the portal and upload. Uh, there is a, uh, for simple taxpayer, it should not take more than two minutes to enter. If a taxpayer has got uh, lots of explanation in terms of various persons who has given cash, we have given a user guide and a preference guide, which is one page to preference guide, for them to understand the way it has to be filled up. Help desk number is given here, 1-800-4250-0025, to help the taxpayer in if they're facing any technical issues in uh, submis submission of the response on e-filing. Uh, as uh, uh, Chairman CBDT has mentioned, uh, the next stage would be uh, some cases where the response is not in line with expected profile will be selected for verification. So not every case will be selected for verification. Only cases which match the risk criteria will be selected for verification. In such a case, communication will be sent to the taxpayer electronically. And if any additional information is requested or required by the officer, that same will also be transmitted electronically. Uh, and this is just to add, as Sarva was mentioning, this is just the beginning of the exercise. Uh, the information on the portal will be dynamic. Uh, it will be updated when we receive new response by a taxpayer, when we get new information, or we do more analytics. So this is a continuous affair. Uh, we would uh, keep on uh, communicating with the taxpayer electronically and take it forward. Thank you. Thank you. I think we can uh, do it offline. Uh, there is a press note which uh, our media coordinator will distribute, so you can just uh, take it. I would really request you to reach up to the people and explain to them that this is the best way of uh, reconciling the data without any harassment. So please your media uh, newspaper or media channel to propagate about this. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, friends, you are requested to join for refreshments on fourth floor.